Blinken promises Ukrainian president new U.S. weapons will be game change. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has reportedly informed Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky that Washington's long-delayed military aid is now on its way and is expected to make a real difference, according to several media outlets. Blinken arrived in Kiev on May the 14th for a previously undisclosed meeting with the country's leadership. His visit marks the fourth time he has travelled to Ukraine and comes after Congress approved President Joe Biden's $61 billion military aid package for the country last month. While no official statements have yet been released regarding Blinken's meeting with Zelensky, the Associated Press and Reuters have reported he told the Ukrainian leader that, in the near term, the assistance is now on the way, some of it has already arrived and more of it will be arriving, adding that it is going to make a real difference against the ongoing Russian aggression on the battlefield. According to BBC correspondent Tom Bateman, who is accompanying Blinken, Zelensky stressed during the meeting that Ukrainian troops have been through a tough period, particularly in the East, and thanked the secretary for the crucial package of military assistance. The Ukrainian leader reportedly highlighted the importance of receiving the US weapons as quickly as possible and reiterated demands for additional air defense systems, explaining that Ukraine had an ongoing deficit of such munitions, notably around Kharkov, Ukraine's second largest city, where Russian forces have been rapidly gaining ground. A US official traveling with Blinken told reporters that the aim of the Secretary of State's visit to Ukraine is to send a strong signal of reassurance to the Ukrainians, who are obviously in a very difficult moment, and detail how US aid will help Kiev's forces take back the initiative on the battlefield. The Ukrainian general staff admitted that Russian forces have gained the upper hand in the Kharkov region after capturing multiple towns and villages in the area over the weekend. Russia's success on the battlefield has reportedly already prompted Ukraine to redeploy some of its forces from the Donbass front to Kharkov. Meanwhile, Western analysts have raised concerns that the Russian offensive could turn out to be a nightmare for Kiev and push it towards peace negotiations with Moscow. North Korea supplies old multiple launch rocket systems to Russia. The intelligence agency of South Korea announced its suspicions that North Korean weapons manufactured in the 1970s were supplied to Russia for the war against Ukraine. Yonhap reports this. The National Intelligence Service made the statement in response to a recent report by local media that 122mm artillery shells manufactured in North Korea in the 1970s were among the weapons used by Russia in the war against Ukraine. The intelligence agency of South Korea is analyzing the relevant situation in detail and also continues to monitor the general military cooperation between North Korea and Russia. South Korea's intelligence service analyzed photos published by a Ukrainian photographer last year and discovered Korean letters including the number 122 that were inscribed on the missile shells. Experts said these are most likely 120mm projectiles for rocket launcher systems. South Korea's Defense Minister Shin Won-sik estimated that North Korea sent about 6,700 containers to Russia after the two countries' summit in September, enough to house about 3,152mm artillery shells or 500,122mm artillery shells. The US has counted the number of ammunition that North Korea has provided to Russia. North Korea and Russia violate all international agreements. The deputy head of the US mission to the OSCE, Tracy Newell, stated this at the meeting of the OSCE Permanent Council on Thursday in Vienna. Since the end of last year, North Korea has delivered almost 11,000 containers of ammunition to Russia, as well as ballistic missile launchers and several dozen ballistic missiles. Russia has repeatedly used these weapons to attack Ukrainian infrastructure. The American diplomat said Pyongyang is not doing this for free. North Korea is interested in fighter jets, surface-to-air missiles, armored vehicles, ballistic missile equipment or materials, and other advanced technologies. It is clear that Russia and North Korea are violating UN Security Council resolutions by participating in these deliveries. The diplomat added that Russia and Iran are also developing their ties in other areas, primarily in oil and gas and banking, and such cooperation weakens our collective efforts aimed at ending Russia's war against Ukraine.